It's only been a few hours since the last time I've beaten my meat. Maybe someday I will have the power of will to not beat my meat for a few weeks, maybe a whole month. And during that time I will turn into a super saiyan or angla anla kongorosaki or something. But I am not here to talk about beating your meat or my meat. So or turning into a super saiyan, I'm here to talk about the lack of communication. If you're a fucking goober like me, a fucking dumbass who doesn't know how to talk to anyone whatsoever, because my communication skills are very, very, very low. I don't go outside. I just, just a few years ago. Today, I actually go outside now from school. I have some friends now. But during the time of my emo years, I don't know to, how to talk to anyone. I'm basically a fucking zombie, a fucking robot doesn't know how to talk to anyone. If you're... If you ask me a question during a version of me during that time, like 2020, 2019 to 2022, like early 2022, you probably get a response of like a rob robotic out of battery robot or something. Maybe a zombie with just a, with just a, hmm, yeah, uh, um, you just, so during that time, I was basically just mumbling and just saying like, hmm. I was basically a fucking Minecraft mod mob during that time. Doesn't know what to fucking talk or respond to anyone. And during that time, until now, I've actually been improving a lot. I have some friends now during the time. I did have friends before 2019, but the whole, whole shit break loose during that time was uh, very depressing. But I'm not here to talk about my past. I'm here to talk about this, I, this communication narrative. Right I don't know why I fucking say this, but first let's start. Uh, I censor out the name of the person I'm talking to because uh, for for her, for this person's safety. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna replace this person's name. For example, like uh, Ashley. Yeah. Hey Ashley, why don't you go and work out? This this is basically what I'm saying. So is if you text that to someone or say that to someone. You probably get black or maybe get slapped in the face for saying that because with no context whatsoever, especially if you don't if you don't know that person, if you're not even close, you probably gonna get slapped in the face if you're saying this personal like on personal level, for example. You go and talk to someone you like and just you just said that, hey, why don't you go and work out? It's basically saying like, hey you fat, why don't you go to the gym? Because there's no context. The better approach of that, actually, if you want to talk to someone you like, or maybe your crush, or maybe the person you're interested to. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna he hit you with a very, very good line right here. <clears throat> hey, Ashley, why don't you, you and me work out together? Maybe someday, maybe sometime, huh? And that's it. That's a very good communication right there. That's a very good start. A good, a very, very good start of communicating because you are inviting that person to work out with you. But don't fucking do that actually because I'm a fucking dumbass. First things first is if you like someone, if you don't know that person, but you like that person, the word you're going to say is just probably hi or hello. You know, don't, don't. Don't say straight away that you and I should work out because it just just sound fucking creepy. Okay, don't 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 start a, a conversation like that. So after that, she already seen my message and she didn't reply. So I actually waited for that, and I probably know now why did she didn't reply right away because she, if she's having a bad day that time, this time actually, in the, the time I messaged this. If she's having a bad day and I just cheer up, hey Ashley, when did you go and work out? And that just sent her to the fucking shadow room because I fucking said that with no context without even saying hello or hi. She's probably got her fucking nuclear button up. It's probably got exploded after this. So after that shock, I just said, "Lo," and ha 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 ha. So so after saying that, I just laughed. I just, I just laugh at her in the front of her face actually for saying that. It's like making fun of her. I don't know why I fucking said that. I fucking said this thing, but as I said, 
Don't fucking do this. This is some mistake I've made. Okay, <laughs> don't don't be a fucking goober like me. Doesn't know to, to how to talk to anyone. So after this, her friend actually messaged me for saying that. And I was shocked during that time because I don't know what I said was actually offensive. I don't know how how to communicate or no human emotion because I am an empty host. I don't know how to feel emotions myself. Well, I am st- starting to feel now, so it's actually a good progress, but during this time, her friend messaged me, why did I send that? Why did I talk to her without any context whatsoever? So, she's, she's basically scolding me because saying because of saying this. I, and after that, dur- I mean, during that time, I don't understand why. Why she got angry and why she got, you know, offend, offended by that, but... I've been a, it's been a few weeks after that happened and today I just learned what I said was a fucking stupid idiotic thing without any any context whatsoever I just fucking said that it's so fucking stupid and after this I real I actually apo- apologize I, I apologize for sudden sudden stupidity of I have <coughs> which is it, <coughs> right, there's something in my throat <coughs> So I have some self awareness sir that what I did I mean I mean not not really because someone actually questioned myself is because of her friend. So I realized that what I did was dumb and stupid. So I, I apologize for my stupidity and after that all hell just break loose because she just sent me a whole message of why why don't don't start a conversation like that? Okay, let's read her message right now. <coughs> <coughs> oh man, my throat is dry. Dry. <coughs> okay, so I don't know what you thought might happen when you thought about saying that to me, but I'm act- I'm really offended right now. So yeah, first things first. Don't talk to anyone because they will actually get offended by that. Don't be a fucking dumbass like me. I said that a million times during this video already, but. Don't, don't fucking do this, alright? So, after that, you and I aren't close enough for you to just tell me out of nowhere. That, that's a key right here. That's a very good message to anyone out there. For me, if you're, if you don't know how to communicate with anyone, read this message, her message right there, this person's message, because it helps you on how to talk to anyone, actually. And after that, with no context, that's what I said, <coughs> Not even a hi or hello or to tell me to work out. We barely know each other. I don't know what you're trying to do or what you're trying to achieve here, but what you said is insanely rude. Which is true. I actually, it was very, very rude and stupid and fucking dumb. I don't know why I said that again. But, you know, I, I can't explain it with my stupidity, okay? Then over that, you probably didn't think much of what you said. Yeah, that's true right here. That statement is true because how I don't know how to say empathize, empathize with others. So I'm just a empty host. And after that, where where am I? Where where's that? I mean, I lost on where I'm. Uh, I don't know what you're trying to do or achieve. Okay. You probably didn't think much of what you said, how it might affect me, and you probably thought it was nothing or have no ill intention, but you shouldn't go around telling people to work out some people to work out. Some people won't take it as lightly as I am take, talking this right now. If you're worried, if you're worried about me trying to me, uh, but me try talking to me first before just spun continuously saying ill shit ill that shit to me you have no business telling me what to do or how to live my life and after that message after her after her she, she just blasted me to the shadow room after this because actually and during that time I didn't really feel anything because I don't feel anything at all during this time that time okay but now I'm trying I'm, I'm suddenly I'm <coughs> I'm beginning to feel alive. So it's actually a good thing and a bad thing because 
that makes me vulnerable for some reason but after that i just said oh okay my bad i didn't even say i'm sorry i didn't even say that i apologize for my mistake i didn't even say a single word of me telling that i'm sorry and after that if you're really fucking worried about me or want to support me do it quietly because i didn't ask for your fucking opinion which is true so to anyone out there like me if you're empty an empty host or a fucking idiot or a dumbass or very stupid like me don't start a conversation like this because you'll probably end up being blocked or being ignored in real life she she blocked me actually this person and i understand that understand why she blocked me and actually talked to her today i i apologize i'm glad she ac- accepted it but i'm still i actually regretted this deci- decision of just doing this it's so stupid okay don't start a conversation like this with no context with no saying hello or hi or maybe talking to them a little bit a little bit more especially if if the person doesn't even know each other that much so don't don't fucking do this don't be a fucking idiot okay think before you say something think before you message someone on what to say okay a simple hi and hello is good enough don't say anything outrageous like why don't you go and work out or being a creep or being a fucking weirdo don't don't fucking do this okay so yeah that's about me of my embarrassment I'm, i'm very sorry if you're watching this i'm very sorry i'm uh, so stupid man i'm so stupid i don't know why i decided to make this